Hey guys, I am back with another video and it is just a talking video. I'm talking about something that God put up on my heart yesterday when I was working out. So I decided to listen to a podcast as I was working out. And it was something about bettering my body physically and listening to something inspirational that was bettering my mind and my mindset that those two together just made me feel unstoppable. It made me want to finish my workout strong. It was something about listening to positive words that just made me want to work harder. Um, but yeah, I had another idea to do a playlist video because I have, I love playlists. I love to listen to certain music to get me in a certain mood. That's the power of music. And I think I'm gonna do a video talking and explaining why I curated certain playlists the way that I did. I think that'll be a fun video, but back to the subject at hand, we are here to talk about what God put on my heart yesterday. I really don't even have a title. By the time I edit this and post it, of course, I would think of one, but it's really just about changing our mindset from poverty to prosperity. I literally just got that. So maybe that was from God, thank you God. From changing our mindset from poverty to prosperity. Because in the podcast they were talking about money and poverty and how we should change our mindset from that. And so what God placed upon my heart was instances where I was thinking with a, with a mind of poverty. I was making decisions based on my lack. And so God was letting me know yesterday while I was listening to that, that I need to get out of that mindset. And what made me think about it, which is funny, is I was doing hip bridges. So I was toning my legs and my glutes. As I'm you know, doing the hip bridges, I'm like, I forgot to buy those shorts because I noticed that my legs were, my thighs were getting toner. And I haven't bought short, shorts in so many years because I've been self-conscious about my thighs. I was thinking because they were on sale, they were at a very good discounted price. They're not gonna be there anymore. I won't be able to buy any shorts because in my mind, I was being programmed or I was programmed that the only way I can buy something if it's on sale because I cannot afford anything at full price. That is what my mind was conditioned to. I have to buy things on impulse because they're on sale and that's the only way I can afford it. He literally put that sentence in my mind and I was like, Oh my gosh. And this is happening while the lady is talking about poverty and changing her mindset. I got up from my workout, immediately grabbed my notebook and wrote it out. My first sentence says, God is stripping my mind from poverty to abundance. God is stripping my mind from poverty to abundance. If I'm being transparent, if I'm being super transparent, when I moved here to California, I adapted the mindset of a bargain shopper. Now, bargain shopping is not bad. It's actually great. But the thought process behind it, the root of why I was a bargain shopper was not good. The reason why I was a bargain shopper was because I lacked faith. I lacked faith in God being a provider. I thought that when I saw something on sale, whether I needed it at that time, whether I was ready for it, like even before getting my apartment, or knowing how I wanted to decorate it, I would buy things because it was on sale. And I was like, well, I have to buy it now because when I'm ready to, when I'm ready for that stage in life, I may not have money for it. So I need to get it right now at this discounted sale price and then I'll have it ready. That thought was a behind a lot of my purchases. 
it's not bad to be a bargain shopper. I don't want you to think that because of course I still purchase things that are on sale. Anything or any way that I can save money, I'm gonna do it. But if the root of your bargain shopping is fear, is if fear is the only reason why you are a bargain shopper, then you need to change your mindset. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says, For God has not given us, given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So purchasing items at a bargain price that's rooted in fear is not what God called us to do. God does not want us to make decisions based on fear, to live life based on fear. I was purchasing things based on fear because I'm like, I'm not gonna have money to buy this if it goes at regular price. I'm not gonna have money to buy this if I have to buy it a couple of months later and a new and improved item comes out, I won't be able to afford it. So I have to buy it now. And I was sitting on so much crap that I don't even use because of fear. Everything that I needed, God has provided. But when we sit there and live and make decisions on fear, that's us fixing the problem. That is us trying to fix the problem, scared to really put it in God's hands. We sit there and we come up with a solution. Our solution, my solution in this situation was to buy everything on sale, even if I didn't need it. So going back to my notes, the next thing I wrote is buying things for cheap on impulse because I lack the faith that God will provide for me if I have to buy the item at full price. I lack the faith that God will be able to provide for me in the future. Because I was looking at my now, I was looking at everything around and not believing that God has more for me in the future. The Bible says walk by faith and not by sight. I was literally walking by sight. All around me, I saw lack. So I'm like, God, okay. I'm not even consulting God at this point. I'm just talking to me, Monet. We gotta buy these, this decor. We gotta buy this home cleaning products. We have to buy it all, girl, because there is no way. Look at, look at your life right now. You need to buy this when you have the money. You need to buy this right now while it's on sale because you never know that when you may need it, you might not have the money for it. I was literally just buying things on impulse because they were on sale and I did not have the faith. I lacked the faith that God will provide for me in the future. Back to 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. At the end, it says he. It says he does not. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. A part of that sound mind is having the sense and the right mindset to change from poverty to prosperity. That verse really can be applied to a whole lot of things. He does not want me to be fearful about not having enough. He wants me to go forth in power and in love. And he wants me to have that right mindset. If I continue on with my notes, there's a difference between bargain shopping and impulsive scared purchasing. One is rooted in fear. The other is favor. And you can sit there and say, well, isn't that favor that God brought it to your attention that something was on sale? No, God wasn't in it. It was just me. I was looking at the problem and I was trying to solve it. I was not focusing on God. I was focusing on my problem. I came up with, came up with my own solution, didn't even consult him. So no, it's not the same. So my question is, do you shop based on fear? or based on faith. And I'm not just talking about shopping. 
is any decision you make based on fear or based on faith? Are you making a decision based on your abilities or God's ability? Are you looking at the situation or on God? We really have to ask ourselves, and that's just the root of what God was trying to bring to me, is that don't make decisions based on what you can do, Monet. You won't be doing the work. God is like, let me do the heavy lifting. You just go forth in faith. You go forth knowing without a shadow of a doubt that I will provide for you. And that's the place where he wants us to be. I was like praying to God, like, God, get me out the mindset of poverty. I want to only think abundance and prosperity. And I believe that was him answering my question, but putting it in a way that I was able to connect because that was a real situation with me bargain shopping because I lacked faith. God's like, the same principles in that in that situation, I need you to apply that to, every, to everything. Make a decision based on faith and not fear. And so I just wanted to encourage you that look to God and I know that it is like easier said than done, but it's so much pressure off. Cause guess what? You gonna continue to live your day in fear or in faith, right? So why not just decide to believe? Because even while I'm working, like waiting on God, um, I still gotta go to work. I still gotta pay bills. So why would I do that with the spirit of fear when I can do it with, the spirit, with faith? That's the only difference, your mindset. So I'm choosing to believe that God will provide for me. I'm choosing to believe that God will open doors as I move, as I go about my day. I meet people, I come across opportunities because of my mindset change. If I'm in a feel, if I'm feeling low and down and sad, I'm not gonna look up. I'm not gonna see um, opportunity in front of me because my my head is so clouded with negative thoughts that I can't see any. A positivity so because your mindset has changed your eyes are open your lens you you have 2020 vision you're able to go in faith because you're like it may physically look crazy but with my spiritual eyes I know that God will provide one of my favorite verses that gets me on track that be, that just gets real reeling on in that reels me on in is Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who was able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Now that verse sounds beautiful, right? It sounds like, oh, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all I can ask or think. And so when we go about our day and go about making, the, making decisions, know that, choose to believe right choose to believe but know that god is able to do way more than that and that alone should make you want to go harder but the secret to that verse is the end it says he's able to do that but according to the power that works in us and what do you think that power has to do with faith so I feel like we need to do some fine tuning on our power and on our faith and having a faith check. You know, we have to, I have to have a faith check like a weekly, not to say that I lose faith cause I don't, but I struggle in it because the devil wants to keep me, keep me in this place of poverty. And he doesn't want my mind to change. He wants me to stay feeling less than he wants all those things. He came to steal kill and destroy he will he wants to steal kill and destroy every positive thing in our lives so of course i have to do a faith check because he will bring things out of every which way to try to get knock me off my path right 
So we gotta focus and we gotta constantly check on ourselves and we gotta be in our word, people. We gotta be in our word, we gotta be prayed up. We have to, you know, I have to listen to inspirational music. I'm really gonna do a video about playlists. And when I listen to gospel music and inspirational music, it just lifts my spirit and gets me out of my rut. Reading his word, he literally, his, I've read certain verses billions of times, but it's something about when you read it, he gives you a fresh understanding, a fresh perspective. The same verse but he will pull something new out of it. So you can never be bored with the word of God. It is living, it's alive, it's well, it's, it never, never, never will get old. So I just wanted to quickly talk about what God spoke to me on and about. And I wanted to thank you and encourage you to keep moving, to go in faith, to strive to change your mindset from poverty to prosperity and abundance. If you need help with that, just literally Google is your best friend. Google verses about prosperity. Google verses about abundance. See what God's word has to say about the way that you should be living. I'm not lying, it's in his word. And it has changed my life and changed my mind, changed my perspective. And I thank him for being alive in my life. I thank him for being present and with me even while I'm working out. Like I'm not, I wasn't praying at that moment, but God met me right there on that mat and was like, daughter, get it together. Get it together and tell my people. And so I'm here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Faithful and Stylish video. If you're wondering about my beautiful makeup, I filmed a, a tutorial showing you guys how I got this look, the products that I use. It was so much fun. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please, be, like above anything, share this with someone who you know is struggling with faith because I feel like God has given me so much to talk about regarding faith and I've been put in situations to share my faith, to encourage people and that's what I'm going to do. So thank you again. I said that a thousand times already, but thank you for watching another Faithful and Stylish video. I hope that you enjoyed it.